Hi, um, I just wanted to give some instructions here on the angiosperm investigation assignment so we can get a little bit more clarification about that. Again, very similar to the gymnosperm investigation, so if you did well on that assignment, this one should be easy. Learning intention, we're learning about specific classifications of seed plants so we can determine how they reproduce and what their biological needs are. Success criteria, I'll be successful when I can research the biological characteristics of an angiosperm of my choice and I can determine human uses for the plant to show its importance to society. So you've got a list here of angiosperm plants. Remember, most plants are angiosperm plants. So again, there's a lot of variety here. Some things you might already be familiar with, like peanuts or oregano, and some things that you're less familiar with. You know, pick whatever you want. Um, it might be easier if you pick one that's either interesting to you or that you already know a lot about. And you'll notice here that we have both the common name and the scientific name. So let's say that I was looking at the apple tree here. Again, apple tree is its common name. The scientific name is this one in parentheses, Malus domestica. So I'm going to, when I'm looking for information on this particular plant, I'm going to copy the scientific name and I can paste it into Google to search for it. And it'll give me results specific to that plant but I know that I'm gonna get more accurate information if I use the scientific name instead of just using the common name. Common name might get it mixed up with a bunch of other plants. Scientific name is that specific plant. So one, what plant did you pick from the list? You can put either the common name or scientific name. Either one's fine there. Two asks, what scientific family does your plant belong to? And it should end in A-C-E-A-E. -E. And again, the scientific name here in parentheses is not the scientific family. Um, this is its genus and species, Malus domestica. It's a two-part name, but the family is just going to be a single name, and it ends in A-C-E-A-E. -E. Chances are, if you search for the scientific name, you will probably get a Wikipedia page for your plant. So right here, here's the Wikipedia page for Apple. And when you get into that page, scroll down and look here on the right where it says scientific classification. There should be a section here that says family. And again, that will tell you the actual scientific family you're looking for on your plant. So for example, for the apple, it's Rosaceae. So R-O-S-A-C-E-A-E. -E. And that's what I wanna write down on my sheet. I wanna write down the family that ends in A-C-E-A-E. -E. You might also get common names for the family like Rose family with this example, but I would really um, recommend just putting the family name that ends in A-C-E-A-E -E, so I know that you understand that's the technical name for the family. Describe what the flower looks like on your plant. You may need to search for an image of its flower. So again, just give me a general description, color, how many petals it has, things that you notice about it. What kind of fruit does it keep its seeds in? So again, you can look back at some old documents that we have here. Here is our slideshow that's all about seed plants. So remember that there's the whole section once you get into angiosperms where it talks about all the different types. So like AP, APACA, and so on. Look for the one that matches up with your plant family and it might tell you, okay, it has this type of fruit. Or you can look back at our classifying fruit PDF. That might also help you in this instance. So again, look back at some of the categories of fruits that we had here like Akeen, Berry, Caryopsis. Do you see either the name of your plant for, under the examples or do you see a, an image that matches up to kind of help you determine what type of fruit it has? Five, what are some other identifying characteristics of your plant? Color, leaf shape, growth patterns, just anything else that you notice about the physical characteristics of your plant that helps it stand out from others. What would you, you know, if you had to describe it to another person, what words would you use to describe it? What is one use people have for your plant? Again, it could be food related. It could be products that are made from it. Maybe it has some cultural significance for someone. Um, just give us at least one use people have for the plant. And then is your plant one that can be grown outside in Topeka? Why or why not? Remember that Topeka's hardiness zone is 6B. So again, you will look up using the scientific name, the hardiness zone range of your plant. And let's say that you had one with a range of four to nine. We know that Topeka is within that range because six is between four and nine. So you could say something like, yes, we could grow it outside in Topeka because Topeka's hardiness zone is within the range for this plant. Or if it's not in that range, tell me if it needs to be colder or warmer for that plant to grow. So that's it as far as the questions on here. Again, pretty straightforward assignment. Um, 
I hope that you're able to kind of get through this and learn a little bit more about a plant of your choice.